politically or, or religiously or socially. Uh, how, how would you describe it to somebody who'd never been here before? I would say, um, the funny thing about Brixton is, it is very accepting and it is pluralistic, as I said, but it's also, it's a challenge. The whole society, the sorts of people who um, settle here are people who like to challenge the traditional, conventional, accepted order of things. So they think in extremes. They know they're doing that. They don't, ex they don't expect to act in extreme ways on it. But they just like bringing up extreme ideas because they feel that the conventional, traditional is extreme as well. And, you know, it's almost like the law of countervailing forces that John Kenneth Galbraith talks about. That um, for every force that you have that is very extreme on one side, you need to have a countervailing force that is equally extreme. So almost like for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. Brixton represents, or the people who settle in Brixton, represent the reaction. Now we're not talking physical or violent reaction, we're talking ideological reactions. So for example where people say, oh well, gays, you know, the, being homosexual is a criminal or religious or whatever offence, people come to Brixton and they exercise <laughs> their gay rights and their gay colourfulness in an extreme way and, you know, in a way that even the council accepts. I, I quite like Lambeth Council's take on things, not in every aspect, but they do tend to support the local community in the way you should. Um, and you know, the, one of the first things I noticed and thought was absolutely fantastic and hilarious about Brixton was the posting sign for the fridge nightclubs over here. Um, and in the same way, you know, political views, um, ideas of how things are exercised, are again challenged quite openly and uh, I think this is what happened. People in Brixton feel they have a right to and they very proudly wear their national clothing and um, even people who it's not their nation in that sense of they were born there they might adopt it. You see lots of you know different cultures wearing other people's national costumes nobody bats an eyelid. This is Brixton you can do what you want.